Breaking right now, D.C. City Council has just passed emergency crime legislation to deal with the rise in crime right here in the nation's capital. But critics have some concerns about how it could disproportionately impact residents. That vote came just minutes ago after city leaders debated the controversial measures. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming joining us live with the latest now. Leonard. Uh, Mark and Annalisa, yes, indeed, this legislation did pass today, uh, one vote against it. And it's basically something that many council members and many members of the public have been clamoring for to get crime under control in the district. But also there are critics who say that this actually may lead to mass incarceration, particularly of black people. With the rise in crime in D.C., many have been advocating for measures to help drive down violence plaguing the nation's capital. The emergency measure, among other things, will keep violent adult and juvenile offenders in jail before trial. That controversial part, which is supported by Mayor Muriel Bowser, is opposed by critics who say blacks would be unfairly targeted. Other moves should be taken, like providing affordable housing. Here are two points of view. It just grabs bigger and bigger chunks of people and locks them up. And what we really need are very, very targeted interventions, such as getting people <laughs> the resources they need to live day to day. I think people are very frightened now and more frightened about what might come in the coming months, which is why the council, the mayor, the council, are trying to act quickly to do something that can be important. Supporters hope that this measure will have an immediate impact in driving down that crime, as we mentioned earlier, guys. Leonard, thank you. And before we let you go, what's the main point of this measure and why now? Well, it's just the reckless violence that's been going on in the district that we all have been talking about for months, particularly going into the summer months. And city officials say that 500 people have been shot this year alone and also juvenile violence and crime has also been rising with 12 juveniles dying this year compared to 16 last year. So that's something that they really want to get a control over now going into the summer. Reporting from the Wilson Building, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.